with today's machines, pinpoint placement adds another dimension to multi-hoop designs in that the split design can most accurately be aligned without the benefit of registration marks. This is a great method to use for large continuous designs that have critical areas of alignment when they are outside the hoop boundary. You can use either automatically add hoops or manual placement, but in either case, you don't need the registration marks. So we're going to the multi-hooping options and make sure that add registration marks on output is unchecked and then click OK. When I go to preview hoopings and click on the first hoop, you can see where there are some critical areas of alignment. An even better way to identify where these critical areas of alignment are is to go to write to card machine. And here the second hooping is shown as a wireframe. So you get an idea what is very critical when you stitch that second hooping out. Now remember pinpoint placement is great because when you have reference marks, they're up at the edge or down at the lower edge of the hoop. Your registration marks may align perfectly, but where it's critical to match, this can be off enough so that you can notice. So with pinpoint placement, remember you mark two points and if it's needed, the design is going to rotate in order to make those marks match. So let's see how this design is going to be stitched. Here the design is shown in different colors, but it is split the same way. And you can see the critical areas of alignment are here at the cloud and here at the sail. Those are the two points that will be used to align these designs with pinpoint placement. The first design is stitched. And then the second design is brought in. You will activate pinpoint placement and then touch the first critical area. And the needle is then going to move to that position. With pinpoint placement, you will use positioning dots as desired. And then once this first point is activated, you will use your multifunction knobs to move the needle so that it is right at the point that it needs to be for that to intersect with the first design. Then you will set that point and then touch your second point on the screen. The needle moves to that position and then you will use either the vertical multifunction knob or the horizontal multifunction knob to align that second point and then set that point and stitch the design. It's amazing how accurate pinpoint placement is.